happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us with the Alpa model number ER C57WR, and I'm going to perform an evening medium wave band scan. We'll go over features of the radio, we'll do a size comparison, and we'll start cruising the evening band. So let's look at the radio, the Alpa. This is a Japanese import. You can pick this up off eBay for around 60 to 65 bucks. I'll have links below if you like this radio. It, I call it the Skywave Lite or Skywave Junior. Uh, it's actually pretty cool for the price. I like it. So let's look at features. Left hand side, we got the carry strap, headphone jack for the FM stereo experience, and overall a decent headphone experience. DC input, 4.5 volts, a simple barrel jack, which is nice. Though it does not charge the internal batteries if you use nickel metal hydrides. The Skywave does. Uh, on the front here we have Elpa. It's a nice silver cabinet. I do like that. It looks sharp. Uh, here's our little speaker. Again, this is identical to the Skywave. Same size speaker. Pretty much same buttons. Uh, I think the Skywave has an extra button here. And I'll show you side by side. Here's our display um, showing a 24 hour clock. We have a battery life indicator. Over here we have the power button with the sleep function. A lock button, our browsing keys, tuning up, tuning down, searching down, and searching up. You know which way I meant. A numeric keypad for direct entry of frequencies. Hit the frequency button and then the desired numbers. Hit frequency again. If you notice, it has some orange writing, the secondary functions. This frequency button also sets your time. Zero allows you to toggle medium wave from 9K to 10K. Over here, you have an FM stereo, so you can turn it on and off and AM bandwidth. This has two, a wide and a narrow filter. That's it. Um, and of course you can see you can toggle 12 hour or 24 hour on the clock mode. We have a page feature. This uh, has 100 presets per band. So this is an AM, FM, air band, long wave, and short wave radio. So it has five bands. And of course that's 500 presets. So it has uh, pages. So it has 10 pages of 10 presets. So you hit page one and then you'll have one through zero as your presets. Page two would be similar. And of course, page zero we would have 10. So that's how you get to 100. Here we have a step function. I believe you use this in the shortwave band and it toggles the different meter bands for shortwave broadcasts. And of course, you can see it says air squelch. Uh, use this also to adjust the squelch on the air band. On the skywave, you use it on the tuning knob. Down here, we have band select. It goes through all those five bands I mentioned and the ATS, the auto tuning storage system, uh, similar to the Skyways. Press and hold on the band and it automatically saves to the pages. Now it will overwrite your any existing presets. Over here, we mentioned the tuning buttons. Right hand side, we have the volume control, simple on analog. I like that, not digital. Up here, we have a notched tuning knob. And of course, when you press it in, it toggles fast, slow, and stop, which is really nice. So you can tune on medium wave, 10 kilohertz, or down to one kilohertz, very handy. Bottom of the radio, we have a reset hole, in case the radio locks up. Top of the radio, we got our FM, shortwave, and airband antenna. And on the back, it shows the different bands on the kickout stand. It's kind of a nice little stand here. Let's look at those bands. So if you're on nine kilohertz step mode, your FM will be 76 to 108. That's kind of nice. Uh, here, when you, of course, you go to 10K, it's gonna be kind of more America, 87 to 108. There's our medium wave coverage. Short wave coverage is 2.1, sorry, 2.3 megahertz to 26.1 megahertz. That's identical to the sky wave. Though this radio has long wave, though it only covers 153 to 279. And the air band, full coverage. So there it is. Oh, and then here is our battery compartment, similar to the sky wave. It holds two AA batteries. This is a great compact radio. Uh, and the run times are great. You can go from 50 hours on FM all the way up to 70 hours on AM. Yeah, it's nice. And I've tested that and it works well, especially in rechargeables. So let's do a little size comparison. Let me bring out some different radios. It's kind of neat. Uh, first, let's compare it to the Skywave. It's always a good comparison. You can see the differences uh, side by side. As you can see, same tuning knob, 
same power button, same screen, same speaker, same enclosure. <laughs> As you see, they added a button here. Um, on this radio, you have more bandwidth selections. Instead of just two, on medium wave and short wave, you actually have five, which is very handy. This also has a tone control, as music and voice. This does not. Uh, this includes weather alert. Um, this does not have long wave, though. The C crane does not have long wave. The Alpa does. If that little bit of long wave means anything to you. Plus price differences. Again, it's just like 60 bucks, 60, 65 bucks on eBay. And this is around $90 on Amazon. Just so you know. So if you want to know the differences. Uh, and of course, C crane comes in black only. And the Alpa comes in silver only. If you're wondering about colors. And the C crane does allow charging of its internal nickel metal hydride batteries when you install those. So there's your got a mini USB port in. And of course, this has that standard DC input. So there's that. Like I said, they're identical radios. Okay. Probably made by the same company, is my guess. All right. So there's that. Let's see what other radios we got. Another one I like to use. Look, a nice competitor. This came along later after the Alpa. This is the Radio Wow R108. A lot of you know this iconic radio already. <laughs> um, definitely a neat radio. This has like all the bands that this one has um, AM, FM, uh, shortwave, longwave, airband. I don't know if I mentioned them all. I think I did. FM stereo, of course. So this actually does everything this does and more. This has tone control, and this also has um, full coverage on shortwave, and of course more bandwidth control. Uh, so it has quite a bit. The only thing it lacks, well, actually, it has a better speaker too. <laughs> the only thing it lacks is the battery capacity. This will run, like I said, 50 hours. This will run maybe about 10 to 12 hours. This utilizes a BL5C battery. Some love it, some hate it. Um, it is rechargeable. You have your uh, your hook up there so yeah we're spending a lot of time on these comparisons but I just want to know if you guys have the difference price wise you get these on sale for 42 to 44 dollars quite the bargain um, if you're just getting started that might be the way to go but if you want a radio that's going to run a long time on two AA batteries you go with the Alpha instead if you need full coverage on shortwave you go with this if you need single sideband however that won't do it you need to upgrade to the Texan PL330 now this radio here Retails for around, I think, $75 to $85. On eBay, you might find it for $85 to $89 on Amazon. So you're, you're starting to get into the Skywave territory. But the interesting thing about this radio is it has single sidebands. If you want to tune in hams, different nets, you're able to, of course, full coverage on Shortwave. Not as many filters as the uh, Skywave or Radio Owl, but uh, an interesting radio nonetheless. And, of course, this has a better speaker, too. Bigger also. So gotta love that. And of course, this radio here is thinner. It uses the BL5C that the radio all uses. So expect only like 10 to 12 hour runtime versus again, the 50 hours you're gonna get from the Elpo. So the Elpo still actually is a desirable radio. Let's, let's go ahead and oh, one more thing I forgot. Here we go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Japanese imports from Japan land. <laughs> yeah, I just made that up. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's a deck of cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to lower this back down. I have a passive loop to my left. It's a Turk advantage. We'll see if we need to use it or not. See what kind of results we get. We're starting at the bottom of the band. As you can see, it's a single strength indicator. Uh, it goes all the way to 9. There's our frequency we're on. The page. There's the wide narrow filter for the symbol. Of course, what band we're on, medium wave. So there we go. Let's start tuning it. Fast tuning. Okay, so this is five forty to be a UK Jackson, Wisconsin, barely making anything out there. Um, as you notice, I'm turning the radio, uh, and that's because there's an internal antenna. Uh, this is a medium wave band we're on. It uses the internal antenna. This radio has two. It has an external and an internal. The internal is used for the medium wave. A lot of people don't know that, and I have to mention it every time now in my videos. But the neat thing is, um, it's in horizontal orientation, and when you turn the radio, you're actually turning it towards the station you're trying to receive, and the gain will improve. Okay, in this direction here, this is the west, 
Anything to the west on 540 is usually CBK, and this is Watra, Saskatchewan, which is a thousand miles. This is the farthest station we're going to hear tonight. Here's 560 WIND Chicago, the answer. As for me as well, I've worked on these issues as long as anyone. Relief formula serum. Stop pain now at the Natural Health Center, Kalamazoo Family Owned Natural Food Market. There you go. They mentioned the city. Uh, this is Kalamazoo, Michigan. This is WKZO. And this is 137 miles away at 5,000 watts, pretty much right across the Great Lakes. I'm located in Chicago, Illinois, forgot to mention that, USA, and the current time is 11.13 p.m. Central Daylight Time, if I get that into focus. There you go. So yeah, these radios have clocks, which is nice. WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles, 5,000 watts. And sellers need to know what they're doing if they're going to make the most out of the sale of their home. You don't. Wicker in from the stretch. And the pitch is way to line drive. Base hits her right down the line. Running third, Kepler. He's going to score. Polanco, Kepler, do it again. Okay, I think this is uh, Kansas City, Missouri, KCSP, uh, 400 miles, 5,000 watts. In this direction would be Ohio, WTVN. God, I see on my screen you're debt free. How much have you paid off? Uh, we paid off $236,000. Uh, WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles away, 10,000 watts. And your range of income during that time? Uh, we started out at about 60000 and we went up to about three hundred and sixty. Uh, here we go. Country music on CFCO. Awesome. Uh, 630s Chatham, Ontario. 310 miles, 6,000 watts. It's coming in nice. Now when you turn the radio um, 90 degrees away, it tends to help null that station. And now we're picking up a different station out of St. Louis, Missouri, which is KYFI. 275 miles, 5,000 watts. Two stations here again. Uh, the Hispanic music is WMFN, Pietone, Illinois, 75 miles away, 1,600 watts. Um, the other station is WOI, Ames, Iowa, 265 miles, 1,000 watts in that direction. Very cool. Provided a healthy hormone-free diet, the purest water, no antibiotics ever. And always humanely raised on family farms certified by the American Humane Association. More information is available at SpringerMTN.com. Join me and the rest of the flock. That's right, you can join the flock and get updates. Here's 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. And now all you got to do is look for the light blue package with a non-GMO butterfly label in the recyclable clear plastic jar. So here is a 660 WFAN, New York, New York, barely picking it up, 750 miles. We have an annoying station next to it, which is 670. If we tune it back a couple kilohertz, we might be able to hear it. Let's see if it'll work. Okay. 
So there you go. There's 660 out of New York. Beautiful. Six seventy to score Chicago, uh, WSCR. Yeah, as you can see, this one's pegging the meter. Um, that's why we're having a little bleed over into six sixty. Entertain me, teach me something that I can impress my friends with, and bring on some insightful guests. That's what Wager Team. <laughs> Seven hundred WLW Cincinnati, Ohio, three hundred miles. Sustained serious damage from loose semi truck tires in Massachusetts last Friday morning. Just picking up a hint of another New York station, WOR, New York, New York. <laughs> Stop got me. I'm like, why isn't it moving? <laughs> 720 WGN Chicago. Just get a hint of CKD. I'm here, Dauphine, Manitoba, 820 miles. And of course, we have Zoomer Radio right next to it, also, and WGN. So, two strong stations kind of competing. There we go, CFZM, Zoomer Radio out of Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Always playing some good hits. Seven fifty WSB Atlanta, Georgia, six hundred and thirty miles. I'm assuming these southern states are gonna be difficult to receive because we they have a tropical storm coming in. Told me can't tell me that. I'm very worried, you said in a text message. We're feeling in danger here. Please save our family. WJR seven sixty Detroit, Michigan, two hundred and seventy miles. The US during the war and now face a desperate race to leave the country. Another example of two strong stations sandwiching 770, so you could try the one kilohertz back. That could improve. We stayed on it for a while. This will be to be ABC, New York, New York. There we go. Patients pay zero dollars. Ask your provider. Or Here's the offending station, WBBM Chicago. Uh, cool thing about the station: uh, Monday through Fridays, uh, 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Classic radio, uh, old-time radio shows, which is great. Entire life. In fact, I can remember my mother teasing me, saying that I snore so loudly. I, I said to Tony, Tony, can you take a couple of topics from earlier today? I don't want to know which one. And can you? Yeah, the display <clears throat> it looks a little faint when you go like this, but when you bring it up like that, you can see it gets sharper. Oh, that's cool because you're on the stand. It looks good. So here's a 800 CKLW, Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles, coming in fairly clear. Our first topic, crime scene. What is the evidence that I have to listen to to guess the topic? Boy, he's just... He's So New York stations are kind of kind of a little difficult. This is WGY, Albany, New York, 740 miles. Be that direction. 
or technically that direction, northeast. That's north, that's west. Okay, so this is probably Minnesota Twins playing WCCO, uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. Here's ground zero on 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Coast to coast is after this at uh, midnight. Here we go, KOA, 850, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. Cordell and Cordell is here to help. For more than 30 years, Cordell and Cordell has been there to guide men through all aspects of divorce. Uh, French-speaking station is CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. Come on, he has it. Like, all I can do is go out. Straight south here is WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. Okay, here's 880, WCBS, New York, New York. Nice. Here's WLS Chicago. Of course, I get a high pitch whine coming from the camera, but I can defeat it by tuning it back. There are hundreds of data brokers out there, sole business to buy and sell your data. The worst part is they don't have to tell you who they're selling it to or get your consent. But ExpressVPN reroutes your connection through an encrypted server, making it more Old time radio on CHML, Hamilton, Ontario, 430 miles. to WWJ along with some other stations. This is Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Music on 960 um, South. I'm not sure what this is. Interesting. Uh, it could be WSBT, South Bend, Indiana. That would be Indiana there. Um, so the going south is a little different. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's two stations we're hearing. My, 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 my head hurts with all of this. I need to take an aspirin because I, 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 I look at this and I go, how are they doing this with this? KMBZ, Kansas City, Missouri, 490 miles, 5,000 watts. Some cowboys up. 990 CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba, 675 miles. So yeah, being in the Midwest, we get to hear quite a bit across the medium wave band. This happened to be on my birthday. One on the Dodgers. Alabama right now. WMVP, Chicago, ESPN. Crimson Tide, followed by Oklahoma, Clemson, Ohio Here's KDKA 1020 Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles.
You have been pleased to send unto us a certain prohibition or command. WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Many of those people called Quakers because they are supposed to be, by some, seducers of the people. Mixing stations, a music station, and then we have KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles away. It's pretty interesting. WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. Water on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, it's Bill Wilt. Podcasts. Do you guys listen to podcasts? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I don't, for one. I used to, but uh, it was boring. The whole generation that we gave. There are some good ones out there, but yeah, I just it's hard to get into. KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. I have my radio. <laughs> uh, but for America, why is this bad? Well, it's because Al Qaeda is on the coattails of the Taliban. They provides returns right now. They capitalize on strategic markets. They offer. This is Wham, WHAM, 1180, Rochester, New York, 545 miles, coming nice and clear. 15-year industry leader who have seen it all. George, because I, 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 I found myself throughout my career asking... WPHD, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 700 miles. I'm going to go fairly quick, I only have a few minutes left, so let's get to the top of the band. They've seen really strange things in the sky. I, I spoke to people... Okay, I'm here in Canada. Um, I believe this is a CFMB, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. In French. Sweet. No, I don't get this one. You got Ozzy there, W-I-L-S, I think, Lansing, Michigan, 190 miles away. I think that's what it is. Um, it could be W-J-A-S, possibly, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Awesome. Speaker is probably WSPD, Toledo, Ohio. In the lead, in the bottom of the seventh inning, the Giants four games up on the Dodgers in the NL West. The Dodgers had fallen behind briefly against the... Probably KXFN, uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Yes, McKinney answered with a solo homer box. Seems pretty sensitive to the top of the band. Very cool. WLAC Nashville. WCKY Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Surprises me, right? All this Iowa on the Bohannon 
Joe. Good evening. Here's KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. Long time listener. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. KCNZ, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles, 1,000 watts. We're almost done. KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Okay, we'll turn this off. All right, so yeah, we finished it up in 30 minutes. It always takes that long. There it is, the Alpa band scan in the evening. Let me know what you thought. Uh, do you like this Alpa? Would you pick one up? Uh, just leave me a comment below. Uh, there's links there if you want to support the channel. You can get them on eBay uh, pretty much through Japan. you got to uh, buy them from a Japan seller. I've seen them, like I said, around 65 bucks. I originally bought this back in 2018 for around $55, I believe. So not a bad deal still uh, comparing it to other radios. So if you're interested in something fun and compact, this might be the way to go. Uh, I was tuning in Voice of Greece on shortwave today, which was nice. So there you are. Give a big like if you like the video, two, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you like little mini shortwave radios, and three, comment below what you think about the Alpa ERC57WR. That probably means Alpa Radio, World Radio. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. Um, let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you.